Before crossing a new threshold, take care, for it is difficult to know what foes lie in wait beyond. Are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I could reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is.
Wake, my love, wake. Soldiers at our door. They've come for you. For us. Let them take me. I have no more fear. Let me air my wrath in the courts. They'll kill you before they let you speak. I'll appeal to the council. They must know what the Mad One has done. They're upon us. Now is not the time. Bex, I'm closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I got the data. Sending it now. I just can't get it right. Stupid. You're stupid. Or fool. That's what it is. You think you know what you're doing, but you don't. Smells good. Oh, please. I'm irritated enough already. The last thing I need is someone lying to my face. It is a compliment, Saxon. Take it. What are you brewing, anyway? I call it... Leicestershire sauce. That is a mouthful. What is wrong with it? It doesn't come close to meriting such a sizable name. That's what's wrong with it. And I've tried. Lord, have I tried. But I cannot, for the life of me, strike the perfect balance. I should just give up. As I look around, that is hard to argue. You wouldn't happen to be carrying an eel, would you? Not the first thing I grab when I set off for the day, no. I've fished everything in Leicester, but the eel. And you think this elusive river snake could be the answer to your sauce woes? There's only one way to know for sure. All right. If I wrangle one, I shall bring it to you. Yes, please. I must try, if only to rule it out. Thank you. Cast about this land, my friend. is boiling with them.
I have your eel. Oh, good! Please, add it to the pot! Ah, here it is. Would you be so kind? You want me to taste this? Of course, for your palate is far less tainted than mine. Take a generous amount, too. And? Verdict? No. <coughs> Not quite there. Oh, Lord! If it helps, I've had worse. I suppose that's it then. It's over. Time for me to pack up my things and see what the fruits of another kingdom might offer me. Where will you go? Worcester, I think. Though I'll be buggered if I'm going to name my sauce after that paltry place. <sighs> Thank you. For all your help. I don't know many Danes, and I don't care to. But you've helped bring closure to this journey. If I could ask one more favor of you... It would be to take this failure to the grottoes below my home. I can't stand the sight of it. Farewell. Luck be with you. You will need it. to sing a song. Helps me pass the time. Come here, Raider. Have a sit with me. Hear a story or two. That song. You have spent some days on a longship. Oh, many. <laughs> See this salt-blasted hair? It took a pummeling over the years. All that seawater. Feels like hay now. Better keep away from the horses then. <laughs> you are very quick. And sturdy by the looks of you. But you are not from that Ragnarsson camp there in Repton. I would have recognized you. I belong to another clan. What are you doing away from yours? I have been cast out. Too old, too frail. Dead weight. As they say, I will have to get used to watching the sights of war from afar now. No shame in that. Not many of us can say they lived long enough to simply retire. You have earned it. But have I? Or have I missed my chance? I thought I knew what lay ahead, but now that is foreign to me. Embrace it. Sail the seas, write your songs and bellow out on the winds. Sounds nice to me. You are far too young to speak so wise. There is a bright future for you and your clan. I would like to add to it. Take this key. If you find yourself in Repton, seek out my quarters near the docks. There is a large tree out front. Inside you will find a few of my most prized items. Take them. I no longer have any need. You honor me. Call it a gift from the old guard to the new. Odin, guide your way, young Draco. I should keep an eye out for this old raider's home if I ever am in Repton.
be that old raider's place. He said he wanted me to have his things. is filled with songs. Must have taken... What do you see, Sunan? These are some trinkets you left behind, old man. Ah, you've come back. Why are you wasting your time with me? This crate has all of your written songs. This is not a gift I can accept or repay. You'll want to revisit these someday. They should stay with you. I had forgotten all about them. Something to work at on this new journey of mine. You have only the setting sun to tell you when to stop. And maybe not even then. That is twice you have earned my admiration. Please, tell me your name. Eivor. Eivor. If the gods will it, I will find my seat at Odin's table before. And there I will speak of you so that when the time comes to claim your seat, they will greet you by name. Farewell.
Survey the area soon. Have a look, Sunan. So, go on. Try it yourself. Eivor. Come. Stand here and look out over the fjords. Hold my hand. There you go. I've never been so high. <laughs> Your father brought me here long ago, when we were just 19 winters. Together we stacked stones into cairns. These? Yes. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like. How do I win? You win by playing. And a quiet mind is your reward. Let the air and nature's beauty soothe you. Speedy hair. No entry to you past this point. Without a password to anoint. What is this place? A den for those who answer the call of a slick and slippery midnight brawl. To compete, a phrase that must be spoken, but it seems you don't yet have this token. Worry not, young pup, and look around. If memory serves, there's a clue to be found.
Hold right there, you speedy hare. No entry to you past this point. Without a password to anoint. Naked fists and wall-eyed lisps. Ah, keen eye and clever nose. You'll need them both to keep on your toes. Enter, enter, take your shot. But careful, don't get beat to snot. Are you ready? Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. Let's see if you don't take a fall against the one they call the Wall. Edward of Lincoln. Uh, deal with... was an absolute treat. You move just like a noodle. A favorite thing to eat. It would please me to no end to watch you fight again. So whenever, now or then, return promptly to my den. For more. Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. There may be shared blood in your veins against this rapid firing Dane, Bola of Kent. For more. Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. I think it's time your head got stung. For none remain but the silver tongue. One on one, you'll fight with me. Champion of the BBB.
never been in such a fight. You wallop me with all your might. It seems to me you've proven to be champion of the BBB. I am honored, I think. Go on now, carry our name with only pride and never shame. Remember how it was you came to be blessed with so much fame. Farewell. Just hold on tight. Oh, careful, please. This leaf cannot fall. Oh, please don't. stay back. Do not touch this tree. All right. What is your name? May. Eivor. Something about this tree important to you? It's the leaves. My father said he would return home before they'd all fallen to the ground. And now, only one remains. And still no return. It's been six weeks. Six weeks since he's gone to Lincoln in search of work. I wish he stayed. Just one more season. He was so sure the fields wouldn't yield, but we could have tried. Your father sounds like an honest man. Went looking for work to take care of you. He would make every effort to return home. And that is reason enough to hope. But this... It serves no purpose to fret like you are. Then... what should I do? Carry on. As if he were to return tomorrow. No matter what happens to this leaf. Yes. Yes, I shall do as you say. My father would want the same. Thank you, Eivor. Maybe... Maybe I'll wait just a little bit longer, till the goats begin to bray, or... Yes, a little longer. Everything will be all right. Say that again? You heard me. I need eggs. Viper eggs. Crusty little shits won't go away. This is my land. I was here first. So, as I said, bring me viper eggs, and I'll make sure they leave and never come back. Provoking snakes is not how I plan to spend my day. But that could change. A reward? Yes, I understand your meaning. Bring me the eggs and it will be done. Yes! Oh, more! More viper eggs! Oh, that's much better! Getting closer now. I can feel it! More eggs! More! Oh. <laughs> Uh, 
I knew I would regret this. <coughs> <laughs> that nearly turned my insides out. Oh, I wish I could see the stir I've caused above. Uh, my reward before I choke to death. Ugh. As we agreed. Well, have you nothing to say after such a forceful breaking of wind? <laughs> it blew me away. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm marked for death. How could you forget the torch? I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget. Please do not distract us. We're trying to solve a problem here. We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think, think. Time is running short. I should head to Venonis and clear my name from the zealots. Otherwise, I'm marked for death. Sprout. Time is running short. I should head to Venonis and clear my name from... Who are you? You wanted fire. There you have it. Though I get the sense you two are ill fit for whatever it is you're plotting. <laughs> this one takes us for a fool, brother. We sons of Ragnar have this well under control. No, we do not. The sons of Ragnar? I know of many. But never have I heard of dull and duller. What is your plan here? We set up that abandoned house to practice a raid. Filled it with our most precious things to up the stakes. Even master raiders such as we need to stay sharp, brother. You better hurry. Yes, for glory! Please come with. I do not want to do this with my brother alone. Time is running short. I should head to Venonis and clear my name from the Silots. Otherwise, I'm marked for death. This raid will harden our legacy, brother. Clans will come crawling, begging us to join them. Our names will echo in the halls of Valhalla. And worry not, Spudding Sprout. Together, we will grow you into a fine warrior. I get the feeling we haven't much to teach her. Go on, brother. Like we talked about, blow these doors in like a punishing storm. Stand back, Sprout. And observe. You may learn a thing or two. I am excited. You must hear it in my voice. Time is running short. I should head to Venonis and clear my name from the Silots. Otherwise, I'm marked for death. I cannot do it. Gentle as a lamb. Stand aside. Time is running short. I should head to Venonis and clear my name from the Silots. Otherwise, I'm marked for death. What is wrong? The door is not opening. Use the key! Ah, yes. Uh, uh... Where did I put it? God! Mother's axe! It is inside! Please, stranger, you must get it back for us. Find a way! Dull and duller, like I said. Time is running short. I should head to Venonis and clear my name from the Silots. Otherwise, I'm marked for death. I do not see it here! Thick-headed fools! 
I am unharmed, which makes you very lucky. Smart, you mean? I must have taken Mother's axe out of the house, knowing this fool would forget it. And left the key in its place. You two are as useful as a glass hammer. I'm leaving. Do not listen to that drivel, brother. We must endure. The world will know us by name soon enough. One with the earth, with the air, and water, and fire, and... What is the other? Clouds! Tree bark. Easy, friend. I think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you. Today, my saga is writ! Glory! Ah, oh, a brave steed has swept me up. Onward to my loyal companion! If I don't stop him, something or someone less forgiving will. I should stay close by. Wait for him to tire. My belly hurts and I do not know why. Body, but it is my Hugur that will prevail! This area is off limits. I will take on any challenger, be it of two legs or four. Show yourself to me if you dare. Keep this up. You are going to get yourself killed. Are you hearing me? Yeah! Loud and clear! Now stand aside so that I may fulfill my destiny! Yeah! I feel sick in my body. I'm going to have to drag you back myself, huh? I have been struck by a sudden wave of... tired. I am tired. I think I can no longer walk. Yes, it appears so.
There is no resisting this lasting legacy I have forged. A wise man said it best. To resist is to piss in the wind. My saga is complete, and it is the envy of all who came before, and all who are yet to come. Oh, if my mother could see me now. Your scald. Gods, is he dead? No, but he should be. Seems the gods disagree this time. Splash water in his face and keep your distance. He will throw up something fierce. Thank you for the advice, and for your trouble, which is now my problem. <gasps> No matter the danger, no matter the risk, we do this together or not at all. We will leave under the cover of night. I will enter the camp alone. We will not leave you, Editha, no matter the danger, no matter the risks. We do this together or not at all. Oh. Don't you know it's forbidden to consort like this under God's roof? Take what you want, heathen. Just leave us be. You must be the abbess here. Why do you hide in a musky old church? We are not hiding. We sought to flee the Shire in the midst of this ungodly war. But in our haste to leave, I lost my crozier, fell into the hands of some guards in a camp just below. And I am not leaving without it. Dangerous endeavor for three sisters of the cloth. What is your plan? You're gonna bore them with Bible passages until they give it back? Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. <laughs> it just may work. Or better yet, I can get your crosier back. You would help us? Mersian soldiers make good practice. And now I'm invested in your plight. Lead the way. How long since you fled the Ministry? Must be weeks now. We had no plan and no help. We just knew we had to get out of Lederchester. Whether it is Burgred on the throne, or one of yours, makes no difference. Their reign would be less than godly. No offense. None taken. Best not to draw attention here. This is the camp. One of them has my crozier. <laughs> the Abbas's crozier should be somewhere in this camp. Follow my lead. <laughs> The Lord 
Unlike any sisters I have seen, bare fisting armed men like that. Today, devils, not today. God and thank him for watching over us. Your crows here. The Lord sent me a shepherd to help lead my flock today. Thank you. You did not have to do what you did. There is truth to that. You would have done fine on your own. I will never look upon sisters of the cloth the same way after today. And I will never look upon heathens the same way. Farewell. Thank you. I'll tell all my friends of this fortune. I thought you were a cheat, a swindler, but you were right. Lord, light your way. What has spurred his little heart? Ah, my soon-to-be highly coveted elixir. You see, one gulp puts you to sleep, and when you wake up, you are suddenly richer. <laughs> I have not heard this ruse before. It sounds like one I know, and I cannot explain how it works, but it does. Take that gentleman's elation as proof. He and many others have returned to me, all with different tales to tell, but all wealthier in the end. All right. Give me the elixir. I don't have any on hand. To brew this elixir involves great risk. You must be certain you are up for the challenge. Won't know until I hear it. Very well. There are two crucial ingredients you must bring me. Bear testicles and fresh lichen. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking to winter chanterelle. As for the lichen, you can find some growing in the well outside. Be careful.
Here's what I needed from the bear. Have a look, Sunan. Lichen for the alchemist's elixir. what you asked for very good let me get to work i will have the elixir ready shortly there we have it one elixir of miraculous wealth enjoy Looks as though this one took the elixir as well. Ended up here, but could not get back out. I should return to the alchemist, see if he knows what happened.
Dane. This is our private celebration of skin. We are open to all who strip. Would you join us? I enjoy my wares. I'll decline your offer. Very well. Please leave us in our sacred place where we are free. You, alchemist! What happened to me after I drank that piss? How should I know? I told you, I cannot explain how it works. What I can say is the elixir hit you particularly hard. You stumbled out of here, then began sprinting across this forest as if you had a nose for something. Very feral. I was worried, but I'm glad to see you are all right. Your wealth has swelled, has it not? In a manner of speaking, I awoke in a cave beside a dead man clutching some treasure. Hmm. I've not heard that outcome before. One of your customers on the same pursuit, I think. Only he was not so lucky. Perhaps I should shelve this elixir for the time being. At least until I can better understand its effects. Good thinking.
alive still more remnants of the Nephilim. I have marked a symbol upon the stones, that future folk may imbue their spirit with the energy within. For those who wish to seek communion with the Lord here, be wary, for he speaks through ciphers, and his words are woven with ancient fibers. He is manifest here. He hath made importance of these pillars brought by the giants of yore, now guarding us, as only he knows. Amen. Strange. It is over. You can come out now. Tarquin? My thing! What has happened? Your caps have fled. Felt a little soft for my liking. What are you really doing in there? Oh, God, no. It was only a game. A romp. My dear Tarquin, how could you? I saw a man holding you against your will. All a part of the seduction. <laughs> oh, God. You really thought my life was in danger. And you risked your own. Oh, you. Oh, you are so brave. A fine protector. Tell me you're joking. Please. You must fight for me. Who knows what lurks below? What vile people might come to harm me? I need a protector, stout and resolute. Please, stand guard below. If I do, will you come out? Oh, <laughs> assuredly. Trouble coming. Real trouble. Keep quiet. Huh? Well, now, I'd say that's worth a look. Ugh. Stay down! I must come for you! Take my leave. <laughs> 